Hello, our dear students, in our new video under the title of uh, What Sports We Play. Snapshot Sports Seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, play basketball. You know, soccer is American football. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. So, if you note here, before we start our focus of uh, the class, I want you to pay attention to the use of play and go. Play comes with some sports and go comes with uh, other sports. We also have do, like do judo do aerobics, do uh, karate, so what the rule? What the rule of choosing specific verb in order to go hand in hand with the sports? If you know that play comes with the team sports, team sports, and go comes with the sports ending endings by ing do comes with individual sports again play with team sports like play golf play soccer play basketball play baseball play volleyball play football okay play hockey so these are team sports consist of uh, a lot of people team that's why we use play okay if you know that go here go by riding go hiking go swimming go ice skating go snowboarding all these plays or sports ends by I N G. Also, if you know judo, we can say. Uh, if you know do, we can say do judo, do karate, do aerobics, and do yoga. All these sports are individual sports or individual sports. Let's listen to the following conversation under the title of uh, I Love Sports. What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. So let's listen again. I love sports. Listen and practice. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Okay, my dear students, let's read together the following conversation. Lauren and Justin. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Free time here means spare time, leisure time, the time when you don't have anything to do. 
Okay. Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? My favorites are hockey, baseball, and soccer. Wow, you really are you really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. If you not here, what do you do? What sports do you like? Also, when do you play all these sports? What do you mean? So what the case here used in our conversation? It's uh, the present simple tense. Okay, and specifically we have WH question in the present simple tense. So this will be the main focus or the main grammar focus of our session for today. If you note know from the conversation, what is a question word followed by do or does? Okay, then subject, then the main verb, then the complement of the question, and the last thing will be a question mark. Again, what sports is a question word? followed by do because the subject here is uh, you followed by do or does then here it will be you do you like the main verb also when uh, do you play all these sport and what do you mean what do you mean so let's see in detail Grammar focus, simple present, WH questions, what sports is a question word, do, the helping verb, you, subject, play is the main verb, what sports do you play, I play hockey and baseball, who do you play baseball with, who do you play baseball with who is a question word do is a helping verb you is a subject play is a main verb then the complement of the question and the question mark at the end of the question I play with some friends from work where do you play we play at counter bar how often do you brat we brat once or twice a week. Once means one time. Twice means two times. When do you brat? We brat on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So the difference between when and what time. When when you ask about time in general. But what time is more specific? You ask about the time exactly, the clock. Okay? And you will note this from the answers. We brought on Sundays. On Sundays is a general time. Is general time. Is a general answer. But what time do you start? We start at specific time at 10 o'clock definite time okay and of course what sports here when you ask about object who when you ask about someone or somebody where for location how often for how many times when time, general time, and what time, specific or definite time. Okay, we will answer the following question 
or exercise together so be the conversations with the correct WH question world then back to the partner let's answer together I watch sports on TV every weekend really what sports do you like to watch soccer it's my favorite so here do you usually watch soccer do you usually do you usually watch soccer on Sunday afternoon so here when do you usually watch soccer and do you usually watch it at home no at my friend's house it's a place here so the expected question word will be where when we ask about location of something or a place for something it will be where where do you usually watch it at home no at my friend's house he has a really big TV number two face do you go by riding oh about once a month if once is mentioned so the expected answer will be how often how often how often do you go by riding oh about once a month I love to go by Friday. I go every Saturday. Really? Please, do you go usually at about 1 o'clock? Definite time, specific time. So, will be when? No. What time? What time do you go? Usually at about 1 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Space, do you usually go with my sister? So the expected question is who do you go? Do you usually go with my sister? Come with us next time. Come with us next time. can also answer together the following exercise number B complete the conversation with the WH questions then compare with the partner what sports do you like I like a lot of the sports but I really love volleyball number A is the space the answer is I usually play with the play with my sister and some friends so who do you usually play with who do you usually play with who do you usually play with who for asking about a person do is a helping verb you because you know that i in question will be you i in the answer will be you in the the question okay and the main verb is play who do you usually play with okay here we practice on sunday general time so when do you practice when do you practice Okay, number A space here. We start at about noon. A specific time. So, what time? What time do you start? What time do you start? Okay, we usually play in our yard. Yard is a place here, but sometimes we play at the beach. So, where do you usually play? Where do you usually play? I hope you know the answers of uh, the following exercise.
so today's question after knowing the component of uh, the wh question in the in the present simple tense so we have examples you can from which you can make any conversation concerning sports what sports do you like what sports do you dislike what do you do on sunday what do you like to do in the summer and how often do you play video games so from knowing how to make a questions you can do or make any conversation now let's move to the second part of our session for today we have another conversation under the title of I can sing. From the following conversation, we have another rule concerning the use of can and cannot. When we can use can, when and how we can use can, and when and how we can use cannot. Let's first listen carefully to the following conversation d6 exercise six conversation i can't say listen and practice oh look there's a talent contest on saturday let's enter I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Let's listen again to the following conversation. Page 66, exercise 6, conversation. I can't sing. Listen and practice. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Again, conversation. I can't sing. Kyra and Philip. Man and woman. And there is an advertisement about talent contest. Contest means competition. Competition and talent means if you have a specific gift or a talent, you can compete with the other partners. Okay, so Kyla said to Philip, oh look, there is a talent contest, talent competition on Saturday, let's enter, I can't enter a talent contest, what can I do, you can sing really well, oh thanks, well you can too, oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can't I can play the piano. I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. Here, if you note the use of I can't, okay, and can, I, you can sing. I can't sing at all, I can't play the piano, we can enter the contest, 
So the story of Cain and Tamil, Cain means you have the ability to do or to do something. You have the ability to do something, the ability for doing something. But Cain means you are disabled to do something. You are disabled to do something. You cannot able to do this thing. So if you know there is a talent contest on Saturday, let's enter. I can't. Can't here is negative form. Can't. Here we have a subject I can't followed by the verb in the infinitive the verb in the infinitive form i can't enter a talent contest what can i do you can send well you the subject can the model verb followed by infinitive the main verb sing really well oh thanks well you can too Oh no, I can't. It's a negation here. Sing at all. But I can. I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. From the following conversation, we should know the grammar focus of using can and cannot as we said before that can refers to ability can for ability you are able to do something for example i can sing very well you can sing very well he can sing very well she can sing very well we can sing very well. They can sing very well. But the use of can, the, the negative form here, also we will start by the subject, followed by can't, then the infinitive. The infinitive. For example, I can't sing at all. You can't sing at all. He can't sing at all. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at, sing at all. And they can't sing at all. This is for statement, for phrase. What about question? What about questions? As we know that the, we have two types of questions in general. We have yes and no questions and WH questions. We have two models of questions. We have WH questions and yes and no questions. Let's start by yes and no questions. It's more easy. It's more easier than WH question. But we should know that WH question will be very nice and very, very easy if you concentrate with me. Let's move to yes and no question. Can, followed by subject, then the main verb. Can he sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing and can they sing? If yes, yes I can, yes he can, yes he can. If no, no she can't, no we can't and no they can't. Okay, so this is here. We are in the negative and affirmative form. Then we move to question. The first question is yes and no question. Then uh, we will move to WH question. If you know that uh, the yes and no question consists of can plus subject 
blast infinitive kin blast subject plus infinitive okay and the wh question it starts or begins by question word question word then the model verb can then the subject then the main verb what can i do you can sing who can sing caleb can caleb can sing of course let's uh, answer the following question together kyla is talking about things she can and can't do complete these sentences you we will look at the picture then we will uh, describe or express the picture in english language okay i can do i can't go i can't go number two the girl is very happy it seems that she's very happy because you she can fix the car so the answer i can fix cars fix here means repair fix equals repair i can fix cars number three sing so we know or we see that uh, her friends are putting the finger in her ears because of uh, the noisy around them uh, they have a noisy so let's uh, first listen or look at the picture I speed thing huh I can't sing I speed I skate at all I yes I can't I skate at all I speed play the piano I can play the piano number six I huh I can hmm, act. I can act. Okay. Word forward. The following list of vocabulary are very useful for you and for other students in order to know how to make a conversation such uh, these words will enable and help them to make a conversation let's look uh, bake a cake means do a cake okay download a video do yoga fix a core play chess play the violin ride a horse, sing English songs, snowboard, chill, do jokes, upload photos, and write poems. Bake a cake, you know, the baker is baking cake. Download the video, do yoga. Yoga, it's a kind of sports, okay, and it's individual sports. That's why it takes the verb do. Okay? That's why it takes uh, the verb do. Do yoga. Fix a car. Fix a car. Repair a car. Play chess. You know chess. It's a popular game, specifically in Egypt. Ride a horse, sing English songs, 
snowboard, kill your jokes, upload photos, write feelings. It's a classification, it's very easy. What the words under the following subtitle of every list musical or artist? We can say, for example, musical play the violin play the violin and also and do aerobics so musical or article <laughs> or artistic will be Ride a horse, kill, write poems, number two, technical or mechanical, what is technical here is fix car, Okay, technical or mathematical, we said the good job, sorry. We can say that upload photos and download a video also under the title of technical or mechanical athletic like do yoga fix a car play chess play the violin okay other big a kick so athletic again will be do yoga, ride a horse, snowboard, other will be something not musical, not technical and not athletic. For example, do yoga. Bake a cake. And play, play chess. Play chess. The last thing in our conversation for today is a comprehension consists of an interview between Sean Johnson and the reporter. How often do you think of a professional athletes Pratt? Okay, Sh uh, uh, Sean Johnson of course gets uh, a sneak peek inside the life of uh, the US gold medal gold medal winning olympic germans so let's see and handle the question for here where are you from where are you from Dimuni. Iowa, I live there now. Who do you train with? A lot of people think I have a private coach, but I train with 13 other girls at the gym. How often?
do brats. Most athletes train about four, four to five hours a week, but my parents want me to have a normal life. I train about 25 hours a week. I usually work out. I usually work out four hours a day during the week and five to six hours on Saturdays. I don't brush on Sundays. What do you eat to stay healthy? I have to watch my diet to be a healthy Gemini. I have to watch my diet to be a healthy Gemini, but I don't get stressed about it. I don't get stressed about it. Okay, what are your favorite foods? A chicken and steak kebabs, peaches and cream and corn on the cob. Again, a chicken and steak kebabs, peaches and cream and corn on the cob. What do you do when you are not training? What do you do when you are not training? Here, when you have enough time when you are in your free time, when you are in your What do you do when you are not training? I love to ride horses and spend time with my family and spend time with my family time with my friends. What do you do for good luck? I always travel with my blanket, but I don't believe in good luck charm. He doesn't believe in good luck charms. Good luck charms. Who are your biggest fans? My mom, dad, and of course my coach. And of course, my coach. Let's let's answer the following question. Read the interview, then check correct uh, the correct answer to show questions. Who do Sean Jensen train with? She trains with her. Who does Sean train with? The? Who does Sean train with? The? Yes, sir, I'm going to know other Germanists. How often does she practice? It's 25 hours a week, 24 hours a week. It's Five hours a week. How much does she train on Saturday? How much does she train on Saturday? How much does she train on Saturday? On Saturday?
from yes five to six hours this answer from five to six hours on Saturday what does she like to do in her free time sports ride horses and be with friends what does she travel with a wood luck chairman or her blanket okay what does she travel with I would like Charles or a second blanket. Okay, we will stop here our video. Goodbye and good luck.